Meantime, El Paso's longtime sheriff is looking to stay on the job, and tension is starting to build as his opponent gets some big endorsements. Well, the Sheriff's Officers Association has thrown its support behind Sheriff Richard Wiles. Challenger, ABC 7 Stephanie Valle has a story you'll see only on ABC 7. I spoke with both Sheriff Wiles and the union president about the lack of endorsement, and they disagree on what led to it. We decided to take a vote as the association, and we had a unanimous uh, vote uh, to vote for Tom Buccini. Association President Robert Horstman saying the 168 officers who signed in at last week's meeting all voted for Pacino. Hey guys, Tom Pacino, candidate for sheriff of El Paso County. The Republican candidate for sheriff. Horstman asked that I not get images of the log, saying he fears retaliation against members. Several other sources also told me everyone present voted to back Pacino. It comes down to there's a mistrust amongst the officers when it comes to the administration, and they just haven't been hurt. Do you have any comment on it being a unanimous vote that there were no. no votes against it? No, I don't. I really don't have any comments. Uh, that's not my understanding of what occurred. Horseman said the endorsement for Wiles' opponent was because of a disconnect between the sheriff and the officers. I don't think that they listen to their officers. Um, I don't think that they're paying attention to the morale of the officers. Uh, and how to improve working conditions. The sheriff disagrees. It's political season. Welcome to El Paso politics. My allegiance is to the uh, citizens and taxpayers of El Paso County, uh, not the union. Wiles believes most of the discontent stems from the changes he's made, the big one, eliminating overtime pay. He says the change saved $20 million of taxpayer money. In the last six weeks, the association has filed several grievances against the sheriff's office. They deal with alleged contract violations. The most serious alleges an assault on a detention officer was due to improper staffing. We want to be manned to the point where we can take care of that, we can take care of our officers and function and run the way that we're supposed to. Wiles says he takes the grievances seriously but thinks they're frivolous and will be dismissed. Even if you try to prepare for everything, unfortunately, um, it's, it is a dangerous job and sometimes these things happen. The latest grievances come during arbitration between the association and the sheriff's office. It's centered on the sheriff's move to transition some positions at the jail from detention officers to civilians. It could be up to two months before a ruling is issued. Stephanie Valle, ABC7. Republican Sheriff Candidate Tom Buccino has also picked up the endorsements from the officer associations for El Paso, Anthony, Texas, Socorro ISD, as well as the U.S. Border Patrol local union. Lyle said he's been endorsed by the American Federation of State, County, Municipal Employees and the Real Estate Association.